Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of House of Fern. My name is Jen and I'm the artist behind North Star Pyography and this is Sam and she's my little helper. Say hi. Hi. This week I'm going to show you what it's like to burn on lilac wood. Lilac wood is pretty small, you don't get it too much bigger. Lilac wood is used in, mainly in wood turning, spoons, pens, stuff like that, but I also really like it for pendants, bookmarks, anything small like that, keychains. You can really see the purple in it, and some is more pronounced than others for the purple. All right, let's get started. Get started. All right, so here we have our lilac, and as I was saying before, lilac obviously doesn't come in very big pieces because it comes from a bush shrub, um, so you can't really use it for anything really bigger. It's mainly used in wood turning for spoons, pens, stuff like that. I use it when I do pendants. Um, I've used it for bookmarks as well as keychains. And it's got this very nice color, this purple color in it. And I'll show you a couple more here. These ones haven't been sanded as much. So you can still see some more of the purple. This can totally vary depending on the bush itself as well because sometimes it'll be red or sometimes you won't have that color at all. So here I'm going to start, this is just my nib for my razor tip that I made myself. I use it a lot for outlining. And the, the grain in this is kind of hard, similar to um, pine and ash. So this is another one of the ones that you have to go slow on because of the grain. Otherwise you'll get all the bumps. I do find shading with this pen is a little bit easier than a shading pen just because I think it gets in the grooves a little bit more in between that green. So here's my spear shader. And it does do really nice lines as it does on most woods. So it's really great and you can get the curves in it. The grain doesn't stop it too much from doing that. Oops. I do find if you're using it with the grain, sometimes it can kind of get pulled into the grain and it can make it tricky for burning straight lines with the grain. And when you burn this, it smells like, it's got a faint floral scent to it, almost mixed with a light cedar scent, so it's really nice. So now I'm using my small round shader, and I do have it on a high heat still. You can really see the grain through it. It is fairly good for doing fur on. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the, the video. But again, because the wood is actually quite hard, harder than I had originally expected, it does take a little bit for it to burn. If you turn up the, the heat, you can get the texture on it as well. It is a little bit slower for burning the texture again because it's such a hard wood, so it takes longer to get that deep color. Right here I have my ball tip, and I use this one for stippling. And it is slow to stipple because it's a hardwood. I'm not sure if this wood is considered an actual hardwood or if it's a softwood. I've never looked into that, but it burns like a hardwood. So it does stipple very nice, you just got to take your time with it. I'm going to show you here as well on this piece, it's not sanded, but this here is the core of the wood and it's quite a bit softer than the rest of the wood and when you use it, especially on a high heat, it's almost like it melts. So I just wanted to show. So it's a lot easier to burn. So that's something to look for too when you've cut it in that if you're going to be burning over top of that, maybe turn your heat down just a little bit for that area. And it does have some really cool bark on it. I've got this one here and it's still got the bark on it. It does flake pretty easy. So if you're going to use it at all with the bark on it, make sure you clear coat it well. On this side here is the one I did previously that I've clear coated. There you can see the texture on it. It does really good at maintaining the shading, which is quite nice. This one didn't have as much purple in it, so I did lose some of the purple though. It kind of turned almost like a deep burgundy color. You can see a line in there of it. And it did yellow up quite a bit, but that might depend on the clear coat you use as well. Oils are gonna be different. Different brands of clear coats will be different as well. 